someone smiled on me and I got my first job in television as what was called a, a standby prop, which is the person, we're sitting in a kitchen, which is an actual set, and every single thing that's in this kitchen here has been put here by the production designer, and the standby prop stands over there and hands the coffee mug to the actor just before they, and that's what I did. And I found I adored it, and people were paying me for it. And I wrote my first scripts in the props room on a props typewriter, which was bright red. And uh, they said I wrote great phone calls. <laughs> that was my first bit of professional criticism. You write great phone calls. What do you do when someone says that to you? I was very confused. Cold. Oh, you're not cold. cold. Don't be such we're a cold. Cold. I am. This is the director. <coughs> the directors, they just complain all the time, all the time. It's my job. And I'm very interested in the forms of human behaviour today, because I've worked, um, I was director of drama for a large television network here for three years, and that was a very interesting experience. That was feudal. I didn't know who I was writing about. I didn't know what time it was set in, and it was like the words were kind of dropping <laughs> out of the ends of my fingers. I think that we see ourselves most clearly when we are at a distance. I feel human behaviour doesn't change very much and what human beings want and need doesn't change very much. But we eat different things and we wear different clothes and it's much more obviously violent um, because different times, you know, the rule of law was applied in a different way. I think that's why I was attracted to the 15th century because it was extremely violent and it had great frocks. Well, literally it's like mist. You, I get the sense that there's this sort of veil between me and the people I'm trying to find, like, like mist. And you know there are characters on, or there are people on the other side of that mist. And in a minute, they're gonna walk through and declare themselves. I love the mystery of it. I love the surprise of it. And I never know what I'm gonna get, never, never know.